What is going on everybody? It is dealing with Astro DFS bringing you a brand new video. Today's video, I'm going over some strategies for DFS for the Super Bowl. So, as you know, uh, I think DraftKings is, in my opinion, the more popular, the more played DFS site. Uh, but FanDuel is just as good, right? There's differences, which is good for DFS. You just don't want to keep playing the same one. Maybe the prices on DraftKings don't make sense to you. Uh, and on FanDuel, they're a little more uh, doable. And you can win money that way. It's a good strategy to do. Uh, there's other sites uh, like Yahoo uh, also does DFS. But mostly it's DraftKings and FanDuel. So just going to go over and, and show you guys some examples of what I mean. So on DraftKings... You have six players. One is a captain. The captain gets you one and a half times points, but costs one and a half times salary. So Christian McCaffrey, normally twelve thousand. If you want him on your captain at eighteen thousand, and you get fifty thousand dollars to spare. Now, to balance that out, you get players. If we go on the flex that are two hundred dollars. Right is the is the minimum. Uh, with some guys around you know twelve hundred to where my value is three k. So it, it balances out, right? FanDuel, you get sixty thousand and five players, and you don't have to have a one times or one and a half times price. It's already uh, pretty much built in. So that's where the differences lie. And then you get a five k for the min on FanDuel. So some of the other things you'll notice on FanDuel um, is the quarterback pricing is different. Uh, backup quarterbacks. Um, yeah, backup quarterbacks down here at 5K. Some will be six if someone's questionable. Stuff like that. DraftKings uh, quarterbacks are always going to be six. Backup quarterbacks are always going to be 6K unless um, something's leaning towards them uh, playing. Then they'll be adjusted. So, just to put this in ex as an example of why someone might choose FanDuel over DraftKings, right? Let's say you love McCaffrey this week, which you love McCaffrey every game he plays, right? FanDuel, he's 17.5. Remember, you get an extra $10,000 on FanDuel and one less player spot. So if you go CMC, right, you're left with 10.6. So that's a lot. That's 1400 taken out. Now let's go on DraftKings and put McCaffrey. It's 1700 Out of 50000 you're spending, you know, basically two-fifths of your salary on one player. Or two... Yeah, two fists on one player. So you, you got to fill it out, right? And it's very hard to do without having a lot of these cheap guys. Now, on FanDuel, it's a lot more manageable. So 10 6, right? Uh, Brandon Ayuk's under the min. Uh, George Kittle, the kickers, the defenses, all those guys are under that uh, the average. Um, not the min, the average. So it allows you to save some money. Now, in order to do that on DraftKings, right? You could get George Kittle. That's it, and that that doesn't move the needle at all. Sixty four hundred keeps it there, right? But obviously, the kicker's defense is like you put in a defense, gives you some extra money, so you have a lot more leeway on Fanduel. So we're gonna put George Kittle in, right? We're gonna put Brandon Ayuk in. They save us money, all right? Obviously, you're you're having trouble getting that, uh, and that's with Christian McCaffrey in your lineup. Uh, but we bring someone into the the minimum, right? I'm um, for the sake of the video, let's just throw Kyle use check. I don't think he's, but for the sake of the video, right? And then, and then we could pay up, right? Now, let's try to do something like that on DraftKings with McCaffrey as captain, right? Um, so let, let's put some of these guys in. So we're going to have to pay down somewhere. Um, so let's put a, uh, let's put an MBS in, right? He's cheap. Um... There's no one really on the San Fran side. Let's put Elijah Mitchell, yet again, for the sake of the video. So 87, we're still getting. So we want Rasheed Rice. We get 93. We could get either of the wide receivers. Let's go Brandon O'Neill just to save money. And we still can't get Purdy, Kelsey, or Mahomes. FanDuel, like, all right, we take some of these guys away. Let's, let's see what we could do, right? Let's get an actual minimum guy that we don't have a problem with. Um, uh, sake of the video, we're going to throw in, let's just throw in Nicole Harmon, 5,500, same thing. Uh, 12-3, yet again, uh, saves us some money. Uh, we're going to put Rasheed Rice in there easily. Um, Travis Kel, um, 
See, this is where it gets fun. So let's just go. Let's just go Mahomes, and then we could go Brandon Ayuk. Right, so that's an example, right? Like you, that, that's a good lineup. You get Mahomes, you get CMC, you get Rice, you get Ayuk. Now let's try to do it uh, on on DraftKings, um, and let's go. So we kind of got it. So let's try to get Mahomes. Uh, we had Ayuk, we had Rasheed Rice, and we're left with twenty five hundred, uh, or average of twenty five hundred. So, um. Who do we have? Uh, Michael Hardman. So let's throw Hardman in here. And we're left with 3,400. So it's something like uh, um, Elijah Mitchell, Chiefs defense. So, um, I mean, it's doable, right? It's very doable. But I would rather prefer the way this looks on FanDuel, right? Like, Nicole Hardman is our, in my opinion, the, the only value risk play that you're having. This is a guy that either cashes or, you know... Don't, doesn't cash your lineup. Uh, you're hoping all these guys you hit on, right? If you, as long as they're producing, you're good. But you're hoping that guy you pay down for. Versus DraftKings, you need a lot out of both Nicole Harmon and Elijah Mitchell to compensate because all these guys are going to be on, right? Uh, if you're playing a small amount of lineups, in my opinion, you're going to be screwed, right? You're going to want a lot of diverse lineups because these guys are going to be owned at a certain percent. So, you know, fading Kelsey, fading Purdy, fading Debo, fading, uh, fading Pacheco, fading Kittle. Like, all that sounds disgusting on paper, right, when, when you say it. But you're going to have to fade somebody, right? So that's why the differences on, on sites allows you to do stuff like that. That's why I like, uh, you know, playing on both sites for that part, right? Uh, it allows you to do different things. So that's one strategy of going into this uh, Sunday's DFS slate. The other one is figuring out what kind of lineups you want to make, right? Obviously, we know we're going to have to fade people, right? Uh, let's say we're going to fade CMC. Um, we, for some reason, want to be contrarian and get away from CMC. We know CMC is going to be highly owned, but let's say we make a lineup without him to where he is not going to be the guy. We're not going to put Rice at captain. Uh, let's put Mahomes at captain. We know that's a, that's a given, right? We're going to pay down at somebody, uh, and we're going to go. I, I think we pay down for someone like Elijah Mitchell just to, just to give us some money. Um, we're going to want Rasheed Rice, and we're going to want Kelsey. So we got a 3-1 stack. We got 14K. We can't get Purdy. We can't get McCaffrey. Let's get Debo, though, because we think... It's a good run back. So this is pretty much not, you know, just an example, just to give you. We're, we're hoping for a Mahomes, Rice, Kelsey, uh, big game, right? Getting Debo and Elijah Mitchell run backs. Like, we could get off of Elijah Mitchell. And if we're running Mahomes, Rice, and Kelsey, and only Debo on the other side, we're probably going to want the Chiefs defense as well. So this is what a, a good lineup would be, right? So obviously we're, we can't get McCaffrey with this lineup. But we're getting Mahomes and his two top weapons, who we're hoping... Um, outperform Isaiah Pacheco in this type of game um, if you're playing the Chiefs defense. We're hoping for a good passing game out of the Chiefs uh, and Debo getting the most points on the San Fran side, right? We're hoping it's a huge Kansas City game. Now, that's one strategy. Reversing it is going, you know, I uh, Christian McCaffrey, right? This is, I'm, I'm going to build a defensive build for you guys and kind of show you what that looks like. So, uh, Chris McCaffrey, Isaiah Pacheco. Um, we're going to get both defenses in here. Uh, and we got 12-5. So we're pretty much going to pick between Debo, Rice, and Ayuk, Kittle, who's going to be the next big top scorer in this. Um, and if we're doing this type of strategy, I'm going to lean Debo just because uh, his rushing upside has potential. So... Uh, we're just staying with the running backs and defenses, hoping for a very low-scoring game. These guys getting checkdown catches or uh, getting a lot of rushing attempts, and same for for Debo. So uh, that's one strategy to go. Um, next one is a San Fran. So we're gonna get Purdy in there, right? Uh, we're gonna get CMC. Uh, we'll switch this around though. I know CMC is the most popular, so we'll just we'll just do it like that. Uh, Chris McCaffrey, Brock Purdy. 
and then we're going to pick for this one. We'll switch it up and we'll go Brandon Ayuk. We're going to say this is a high scoring game for both teams. So let's throw Rasheed Rice in there as a good run back. Um, and we need another KC player. Um, so let's just go. Um, let's go Kadarius Tony. Obviously, I think there's going to be a uh, wide receiver. Someone's not going to be playing, if I had to guess, for that wide receiver room. Whether it be uh, Kadarius Toney, Nicole Hardman, uh, Richie James, one of those guys isn't going to be playing. So um, there's going to be value there. So that's kind of a, a good run back of just a high-scoring game. Obviously, you want Mahomes in there. Um, so we'll try to do a Mahomes. But I don't know if it's really possible getting the top three, and it's not. It's not. You you gotta fade someone. So let's let's take CMC out. I, I which yet again I don't like. So let's let's do it without CMC and let's see what we can do. So let's get Rice. Let's get Debo. Uh, and it's eight K MVS. Let's just go MVS. So yet again another fade CMC. It's just. It's very hard uh, on this Sunday. Uh, that's why I recommend playing a lot of lineups. Um, I mentioned on the video earlier this week on DraftKings, it's the same for FanDuel. FanDuel actually has a nickel contest, and you could do 150 lineups, so it's $7.50 to do a 150. I think it's a great thing they do. Um, and, and it's practice if you want to do 150s in a higher field, right? So you're you're paying up more. Um, if you ever get, you know, the chance to get uh, 150 lines for $15, go for it, right? If if you love it that much and you're putting time into making your 150s um, and getting your settings right on your optimizer, then yes, like go for it. But I think FanDuel is a great example um, of giving you that opportunity, which is why I say use both sites. So. Uh, DraftKings, it's it's the same thing. Trying to run these guys back. Like, let's just put them in. We'll find a captain, but let's get McCaffrey, Mahomes, um, Purdy in there. We're not left with a whole lot, right? We're we're gonna we're gonna go Harrison Bucker as our captain to try to allow us to do something here, and then we're gonna pay up at somebody. We can't get Kelsey, so let's go Rasheed Rice. And just fill it in with Nicole Hardman. So, yet again, it's it, it's a very hard, difficult choice um, going strategy-wise. Obviously, I'm going to have a breakdown uh, towards the end of the week once we kind of get a gist of uh, um, who's in, who's out. I, I think it's pretty cut and clear of who's going to be in and out. Um, Kansas City possibly missing Pro Bowl guard. So, yet again, I'm just going to wait later in the week. It's easier. Um, more decisions made, so... Uh, last strategy that I'll I'll suggest of, of why you use different sites. So we talked about salary earlier. The last one is it, just a price differential on both sites. Like DraftKings, four player above 10K. It goes McCaffrey, Mahomes, Kelsey, Purdy. FanDuel, McCaffrey, Mahomes, Purdy, Kelsey. So you get a difference. Travis Kelsey, very much cheaper. Uh, and you got to remember FanDuel is half PPR versus DraftKings is PPR. That's kind of where some of the differences go in. And then Pacheco, Debo, Rice, Ayuk. Um, Debo, Ayuk, Pacheco, Rice. So Pacheco, you get a discount on DraftKings rather than FanDuel. FanDuel, you're getting Ayuk at a discount. Um, and then George Kittle there. Rasheed Rice also cheaper on um, DraftKings and FanDuel, I guess. So it's just... A smaller strategy to take into account. Like I said, you could like, um, let's say you really like Rasheed Rice this week. On DraftKings, it makes more sense because he's cheaper than, you know, every other pass catcher besides George Kittle. Like every big pass catcher. Uh, and on FanDuel, if you like Brandon Ayuk, then, you know, you're probably going to want to favor uh, FanDuel just because you can get Brandon Ayuk a lot cheaper than you could on Fan or DraftKings. So, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, we'll continue to try to get some more content out for you guys this week. Uh, and throughout the offseason, I'm going to start doing Dynasty content. We'll see where that goes. But, hope you guys did enjoy. And I will see you in the next one.